Uh, the situation is caused because uh, Saudi now are uh, trying to increase production by almost 25%, 2 million barrel extra. And they also provide a significant uh, and hefty uh, discount, almost $10 a barrel, uh, to try to limit uh, the, the sale of oil from uh, Russian oil companies to the Far East and Europe because of this big discount, obviously. Um, so it is not really good. Um, my, my feeling is that uh, um, uh, the timing is not good as well because uh, of the coronavirus and its impact on both the human health as well as the economy. Uh, as you can see in Italy, there was a complete lockdown. Uh, China has the quarantine almost 1 billion people. So you can see the impact of the economy of these two countries plus the world because this is a, a, an economy that is interconnected. Uh, is already making uh, an impact and uh, having an extra trade war or a price war will make things worse. So you expect very likely if, uh, if uh, these two countries, Russia and, uh, and, uh, and uh, Saudis, if they don't come to their sense and figure out a way to negotiate an agreement uh, to stabilize the oil price, we will see a, a, a more significant damage to both their economy and also to the economy of the world. So I'm very hopeful that uh, at the end of the day, uh, the, the OPEC and uh, led by Saudis and Russia will come to some kind of agreement to minimize the impact on, uh, on their economy and also the world economy.